I'm going to compare the three Apex 40s from original. I have the AV Rocker and the Diamond Drop. My friend has the Double Concave. So the AV Rocker is definitely geared towards freestyle. After trying all three, my friend says that the Double Concave is a happy medium. The Diamond Drop, I think, is the best for downhill. Um, Brian Bishop uses the Double Concave, and I like the Diamond Drop best for free ride, although the Double Concave is pretty good too. I'd say that the best all-around board of the three would be the Double Concave, because the Diamond Drop may be a little annoying for freestyle, but the drop on the double concave is so subtle that it's just great for everything. And the AV Rocker is a little weak for uh, free ride. So the uh, micro drop on the double concave is very subtle, but it's like there to keep your foot in the right spot and helps a little bit with initiating the slide. I like it a lot. All three of the boards are very durable. If you don't have the nose guards, the tails get razor tail pretty quickly and pretty badly. Also, the only other wear is really um, if you flip them over, the rails chip a bit easily. They don't chip to the point where they're just destroyed. There's a little bit of flex to all three of the boards, but it's more like a dampening kind of flex, and the carbon bar keeps you stable at high speeds. For free ride, the diamond drop is my favorite. I wasn't always a fan of a drop decks, but this one is pretty sick. I think the concave makes it so sweet. It really locks you in. As far as downhilling goes, I haven't taken the AV rocker downhilling, but uh, the double concave is very stable, but the diamond drop is definitely my favorite. Just because of the pockets it has with that double concave, you can your feet are so comfortable. It's great. Freestyling on the AV Rocker is very similar to the double concave, except for that the tails on the AV Rocker are much more angled that way. So it pops a lot more for no complies and you can easily throw it around for big spins. But freestyling on the double concave is still good. Um, I feel like the double concave and the diamond drop are basically good for the same things, except that the diamond drop is just a drop deck, and that's pretty much preference from there. Their kicks are about the same. All three boards look amazing. My favorite graphic would have to be the uh, AV Rocker, though, because of this part right here. That's pretty sweet. The diamond drops is pretty cool too, but if it had a little bit more complexity. So, for freestyle, AV Rocker gets 10 out of 10. Diamond drop gets a 8.5 out of 10. And the double concave also gets an 8.5 out of 10. For free ride, the diamond drop gets 10 out of 10. AV Rocker gets like a 6.5 out of 10 and the diamond drop gets a 9 out of 10. For downhill, AV Rocker, I don't know. Double concave, 8 out of 10. Diamond drop, 9 out of 10. If you're gonna get any of these boards, just remember that AV Rocker, freestyle if that's all you want. Uh, double concave if you want a good all around, but I feel like it's more towards freestylish or freestyle free ride get the diamond drop if you want fast free ride downhill and still good freestyle my favorite setup for all of these boards is caliber 50s with um, some type of power ball on them and if you're gonna get one of these boards definitely get the nose guards they help with just everything with throwing the board around for freestyle and keeping it alive and making it look good.